my workshop. My name's Darren and today we're going to take a look at some 3D prints that you can use on your Festool equipment. The first item we're going to have a look at is this Festool deflector by Shape Labs. And basically what it is, is one of these. Uh, you can get these as in an accessory kit or individually uh, from Festool themselves or you know a Festool stockist. But now you don't have to because Shape Labs have made one you can make yourself. The deflector prints as three parts. There's the main body of the deflector, a little capture piece that you put a bolt through, and a little nut holder or screw, hand screw, to go on the top. Very much like the original Festool really, <laughs> but a lot cheaper. So we just assemble it like so. You put the bolt through here, Pop that up there, nut in the top of your hand screw or thumb screw, I prefer hand screw or knob. There we go, and then we slide that over the end of the rail. Why, you might ask, why would you want one of those? Let me show you. And so the purpose of the deflector is to stop the hose or cord catching on the edge of the rail as you make a cut. So as you can see it hits the deflector and just rolls right over it, relatively so, without catching on the aluminium at the edge. And as you can see this one actually works, and works well. Voila. Now one of the great things about being able to 3D print it is you can print it in whatever colour you want. And I've gone with bright green, one because it kind of goes in with what Festool are already using. But two, it's so much easier to see and you're less likely to bump into it as you walk past. In fact, you can see on the original Festool one, I've painted them bright green exactly for that reason. Because uh, back in the day when I had the bigger workbench, this was a little bit closer to it and it was not uncommon for me to bash my hip on it. <laughs> Just the plastic piece. I'd miss the rail and hit the plastic. This next one is the stop for Festool FS Track by Enrico74. And as you can see, that also prints as three parts, and then you assemble them with a nut and a bolt, much like the last one. And much like the last one, they go on the Festool track. This piece acts as a T slot, or turns a nut into a T nut, if you like, that slides into the guide rail at the side. And then Enrico 74 has made three different versions of this, but for the purposes of showing you what it does, I only need the one. Pop that on there. And then we do up the nut, like so, and that acts as an end stop to stop our cut. So let's grab a piece of timber, I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so let's say for example, I wanted to make a cut that didn't go all the way through this piece of timber, and perhaps I wanted to make that same cut maybe several times as I've moved this piece of timber out to uh, make a notch, for example, in the edge. Or for some other reason, I just wanted to stop a cut at a certain spot repeatedly that's where this comes in. So we slide this up to where we want to stop our cut. So as you can see we slide the saw forward and the edge of the plate has a rounded portion on it that fits neatly into the end stop here and stops us from pushing the saw any further forward. So there we are, you can see what I mean here. Each cut is stopped in the same spot uh, obviously we don't have to just leave it at this point, we could have cut in further. Uh, we, could, we could pretty much do it anywhere where the track would allow. So obviously we're not limited to just the small cut like I've done, this is just for demonstration purposes. You obviously have the full range of the actual track. But here's an extra thing you can do with it that I don't even think uh, the designer thought of himself. I used to have to take the saw off the track every time I wanted to lift the rail up but now I can just push it against the end stop and as long as I don't lift it too far that stops it from sliding off the end. I can take my piece of timber out, make a cut, pop it back against the end stop, move my timber, make another cut and so on. So it's proved to be a very handy little piece of equipment. Small, quick to print but uh, inevitably will save you a lot of time. 
This next one's really simple too, but it saved me a fair bit of frustration. The problem with the older OF1010 routers is the little vacuum port is elliptical rather than round. So in order to get your vacuum hose to attach to it, which is circular, you have to deform it. You have to squeeze it out of shape and place it over. And uh, I can tell you from experience, they do split from doing that. I've split one from doing exactly that. So, I printed out one of these. And it is quite simply called the Festool OF1010 Vacuum Adapter by Elliot Def. But uh, great piece of gear. I printed it out in 100% uh, infill TPU. And it's just rigid enough to hold its shape and just flexible enough to fit over the edge here. So the adapter quite easily just slides over like that and grips nicely. And then we can connect our hose in place like so, give it a bit of a twist and that holds it really well. It's not going to fall out of there. And that's it, we're good to go, we're ready to route. Okay, hopefully that's been of some help. Thank you very much for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Bye for now.